Chapter 33 A Warning About Rewriting History In the previous chapter, we got our first taste of how we can rewrite history in Git. In the next chapters, we'll see more ways that we can go back and make changes to the DAG, the structured data where Git keeps all of our work. However, there's an important caveat that you should keep in mind whenever you want to change Git's history, and that is that checksums don't lie. You can go back in Git's history and change things, that's not a problem. But keep in mind that when you change either the commit data, the order, the date or the log message, the commit checksum or ID will change. Why does this matter? Well, it may very well not. As long as the history you are changing only exists in your local copy, in other words, on your computer, things will be fine. But if you are rewriting a shared history, for example, by cloning a repository, then rewriting a bunch of its history, and then pushing back those changes, things will not end well. Because now you and other contributors will have a different idea of what the Git history is, and the entire DAG will unravel. So as a rule of thumb, make sure to only ever rewrite your own history and never rewrite any history that you have shared with others. With that warning out of the way, Let's look at some more ways we can rewrite our own history.